Happy Thursday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our double header break featuring two cases of 2019 Topps Series 2 baseball, a hobby edition, a what, 16 box, 12 box hobby edition, and a six box jumbo edition to make 18 boxes total. And at the end of the break, we'll pop open 24 silver packs, right? And they'll and whatever hits come out of there, all cards will ship in the silver packs. I'm sure everyone read all the other descriptions here as well. Also, not only do you get all inserts, rookie cards, short prints, numbered cards, variations, blah, 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 blah. Um, all of the vet base that we pull, the veteran comms that we pull and do not ship, we're going to grab like a little stack of vet base for everybody. And for every team that you bought, you'll get a stack of about 20 or so vet base cards, just random vet base cards. So not sorted for your team. It'll just take too long, but just a little bit so everyone has a little something in that respect as well. Um, there you are. I, don't, I think this is our last double header, right? Yeah. All right, so we got Nick helping me out here. So if you look at the camera above your head, there'll be his hands helping me out. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into it. Thanks, everybody. This break does take a minute or two. There's Diane, Last Bot Mojo Royals. But thanks for hanging out with us. I'm sure we'll talk about all sorts of random stuff throughout a break like this. There will be a hit recap, an autograph recap, and any hits that maybe are, or inserts, maybe numbered cards that are numbered five or less or something like that, but we'll do a recap. So if you're watching the replay of this, or if you're like, Joe, I got, got to run some errands or whatever, there will be a hit recap recorded as well. And since we have Mr. Nick Jaspi helping us out, this break will be a breeze. So, uh, these are the National Baseball Card Day poster we're going to put in the new shop. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, the hobby only has one autograph or relic in the box. The jumbos have much more stuff, but jumbos guarantee an auto in each, plus two relics, I think. I don't know if that chair has the ability to like demolish. Monster truck derby. All right, Angel so Stadium. you can see in the camera above your head, here's my other hand right here, Nick will be ripping open boxes and pack sacking over here. We'll be sliding them over. We'll do our best to have each stack or two will be a box. We'll try our best to keep it like that, but there'll be a recap video, so we'll be able to just look that way as well. Good luck, everybody. Who, uh, who's here wa actually watching this break live? And what team do you have? What are you looking for? I'll, I'll even drop a checklist for everybody too, just to so you can keep track of what you can possibly get. This is group by team, groupbreakchecklist.com. All right, good luck everybody. All right, Johnny's here. He's got the Rockies. Are we looking for anyone in particular or you just like the value for the Rockies or what? Charles Phipps is here, Giants and Tigers. Nice, I got, yeah, I got you for Giants and Tigers. Good luck. Um, Gilo's in the house. Dodgers, he's specifically looking for maybe a Machado or a Dennis Santana. Nice, that'd be cool. Shane, do you think any of break, any other breaks will break tonight? Yes. I got Nick helping me out, so this should only take like two hours. Not like the three hours it took me last night. Um, so after this, in around 8 o'clock LA time, we'll be doing flash number four. And then um, around 8.15ish, not nine, that's a typo. But around 8.15ish, we'll be ready to do, we'll probably, we'll have like a couple hours and a half left after this break to break other stuff. So I know that Noir is really close. We can do that. That Finest Baseball is super close. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure we'll do more of those, a couple more of those number block breaks tonight. Flash football, I'm sure we'll, we'll move some of those. So it'll be, it'll be, uh, we'll have a lot of fun stuff to do.
So I updated the time there. It's a CVS promotion. Good luck. Evan, you have Mets. You want all the Alonzos. Nice. They can't show Royals versus Tigers in Omaha because of technical difficulties. That's how you saw what? The CWS promo going? Chicago White Sox? And I know a lot, oh, most. CWS. I thought it was CVS. I was like, I never see CVS commercials. I don't think I've ever seen a CVS commercial. Isn't that weird how some companies just don't do commercials? I, there's got to be a CVS commercial. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there has been. Maybe for, like, the pharmacy. Yeah. No, they have CVS commercials. Oh, College World Series. That Aaron Judge is numbered, so we're gonna just set these aside just in the interest of time. But I think that's a really cool sporting event. To we'll sleeve and top load them before they go out. And there's Jung Ho King right there. And those are numbered to 2019. We'll also set those aside. Are Let's they doing a Japan All Star team? I saw they. Like on intentional talk today, there was like a Jap U.S. Japan. It was like for what? Like an exhibition or I guess, all star yeah. game? Yeah. Like what Merrifield was a second baseman. And then if, like uh, the other guys were. It was weird. The Major League Japan All Star Series. Whoa. End of the season tour, Japan made by an all-star team from Major League Baseball since 1986. I've never even heard of that. I've never heard of that. Where do they play? In Japan? Japan, yeah. It's between the United States and Oh, I think I kind of remember that. It's because you, you, you would never, I don't think you would ever see like playoff teams go, or like players from playoff teams. Mm -hmm. I think it happens around then. When does it happen? <laughs> It says it's featured players like Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey Jr., Chase Never Utley, Hideki Matsui, Ichiro, Sammy Sosa. Is it because they don't broadcast it? Yeah, why don't why wouldn't they broadcast it? Or maybe it's like on at like four in the morning, so like yeah, that's broadcast true. it live. That was like the, when Ichiro retired. Right, no one saw <laughs> that game. Like, nobody saw it. There's Kyle Wright, on the West 67. Coast. I didn't know they did that though, it's cool. The last time they did it was, yeah, 2018. Hmm. There's our first autograph. It's Jose Barrios right on the card in that old 1984 format. Wow. And that will be for... Uh, did Toronto just jump out to an 8 nothing lead? Kyle Lowry has 8 points. Wow. Jose Barrios, Steve Locke with the Twins. There you go, Steve. We are watching some basketball, so we can talk hoops during this long break. We did a little poll, and 74% uh, of people that voted on our Twitter poll, at Jaspies Breaks, think that the Raptors will finish this one off. There's CC Sabathia. 2019. We're talking about him. It's a Hall of Fame career, right? Maybe not first ballot, but he's got a ton of strikeouts. He'll get there, yeah. I think that playing for the Yankees really helped him. Yeah, that'll get him a lot of attention, a lot of media attention. Riders will. He's a nice guy. People like him, I think. So, riders will vote for him. Thing that he came back from. Came back from his redemption story. Kyle Lowry, make it up for that terrible shot. TJ reporting that there are there are cut autos in series two. Nice. Didn't I didn't, I didn't realize that. Uh, Babe Ruth from Series 1, Series 2. Did she really? 
think that was from there, yeah. I thought it was from like Finest or something like that. I don't think so. I think it was... Wow. I think she still has it. I think it got sold. I remember seeing it on Beckett. It sold. She like flew to the guy that... Oh, she sold it? Yeah. What'd she sell it for? I have no clue. I just remember seeing the Beckett store. All right, so that's box one. We're going to save this side. Some of these have different teams on them, so we'll do a uh, left, center, and right randomizer on it. So we'll just we slide that We should sell autograph right versions of our Beckett. That we're we in. should. Right, I'm going to slide this stack over. Get authenticated. <laughs> PSA DNA. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Only two finals today. Twins beat the Mariners f ten to five. Braves beat edged out the Pirates six to five. And all the other games are in progress. Do the Angels Dodgers always do that two game series? I don't know why it was only why two, was games. two games. That just seemed I random. I don't think so. I think they may have another series later this year, or no? Really is there, or is that it? Out. Maybe they always. Maybe, do maybe they go to Dodger Stadium at some point. That's what I thought they did, but. They usually do it the same weekend or the same week. That's what I thought like too. they do two at Angel Stadium, two at Dodger Stadium. Right, right, right. Like the Fury series, like, yeah, like yeah, they do yeah. the preseason. Yeah. That's what. That's how it. They Why would you wrap that series over the weekend too? You would think so. MLB marketing. I guess the Cubs are in town. <laughs> There's Max Kepler, 2019. So obviously stuff like these future stars cards will ship, rookie cards, RCs will ship. These are inserts, these will ship. And then some of the vets where you see them in like in a sort of a refractory format, those will obviously ship too. You can see me breeze by some of those gold stamped 150 anniversary Cards. I'll find one in a second. Those will obviously ship too. Those are considered inserts. They're a special. Obviously, this stuff right here will go. That stuff will ship. Those are inserts. Alex Avila, the Diamondbacks. Oh, there's, there's one right there. So these gold foil ones. So the tops isn't gold, and then you see the thing there will go. Yes, photo variations will go too. Yeah, I've been, I've been pulling the first two cases. Yeah, photo variations are generally... They're in the insert slot, so they're pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and they'll usually be... They have a different code on the back. They'll usually be them not in action. And then they have veteran ones. It's like uh, Roberto Alomar, George Brett, right. all those guys. All right, so that's Tony Gwynn. For the Padres, R.I.P. Travis Stevens with the Friars. It's out of 150. So it's so for the hobby editions, either auto or relic. So that's is our McDonald's second hit. McDonald's guy. Does his family still own the Padres? McDonald's Ray guy. Ray Kroc. Did he they own, the, own Padres? the Padres? No. It's a different family now. It's. I don't know why I'm blanking out, but it's definitely a different. Family. Did you see the McDonald's movie with Michael Keaton? Did not. Was it really good? good? Yeah, you should watch it. Founder or something like yeah, that? Yeah, The Founder. It's a good movie. I think it's on the flicks. Yeah, you should watch it. I know, Johnny. we got to get you back on track. 
I know you. I know you've been trying. So you've been getting your at bats in. Those cases have not been cooperating. We gotta do. We gotta do better than Dante DiVincenzo and base cards and stuff. I think if I had it on a team, it'd be like the Padres or something. Less pressure. Padres would be a fun team to own. Less pressure. You're in Great San weather. Yeah. You're the only show in town. You're the only pro sport in yeah. town. I mean, they're not the most valuable, but I think they'd be the most fun. Well, Johnny, J J John, just just don't watch those cases. That that's stuff like that will, of course, shit. Right, exactly. Evan Padres are on the up and up. It'd be a fun franchise to own. Because right. like, if you own the Yankees, you'd have to like media oh. covering over you and all that. You got like. 12 different major newspaper outlets yeah. that are based there that are going to be like, you know, Yankees this, Yankees that. No. Yeah. San Diego, nothing. And you have, yeah, no competition. They built a beautiful stadium down there. Everyone's going to want to visit. Yeah, Petco Park. It's like a little too nice. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> There's Andrew McCutcheon relic. You got like the skyline in the background. Andrew McCutcheon for the Phillies. That goes um, to yeah. Mark Matheson. You, you just put it there. Thanks. Folks, if you could buy a, a Major League Baseball team, what would it be? Which one would you want to buy? Mr. Mike's Daddy, what's going on? Oh. Berto Perez. Maybe like the Mariners. I feel like Mariners would be a fun team to own, right? This is if you're like like some crazy billionaire and you're like, you know, you just want to buy a team just to have, just to say you have a team. Oh, Chicago Cubs. But you don't want to do a lot of work. Wrigley Field. I mean, that'd be awesome. I feel like there's a lot of pressure in Chicago, though. Yeah, that's true. But they won the World Series, so it's like... <laughs> Johnny's like, I'd live in Colorado. You'd buy the Rockies. All right. I would just make it the Coors Field walls even shorter and just have, like, <laughs> 10 home runs a game. Nolan Arenado hitting 60 home runs a year. Yeah. You get a ton of media coverage. Sure, your pitchers would have like a 6 ERA. Right. But they already do almost. You just have to find ground ball pitchers. Yeah. Or you just pay up for all like five studs and then nothing on hitting. Because your guys are going to yeah, hit. Yeah, they'll just... <laughs> just stack <laughs> rotation. And in my mind, the owner is a GM, too. You're a GM. Sure, slash owner. sure, okay. Just have Verlander. They'll just strike out 15 guys a night. Yeah, Verlander, Scherzer. Or you could be like Jackie. Player owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> player owner, coach. I'd be player owner, player owner, coach. <laughs> Evan's like, I love the Mets, but would never want to own our own snake bit franchise. No, they need a new owner. Evan, yeah. that could be you, Evan Met, Chester. The Mets and the Knicks both need new need owners. New owners. James Dolan, Knicks, and then uh, what's the, his the face? The Wilpon family, Wil I think? Yeah, Jeff yeah. Wilpon. It's Johnny Field right there. You get him out of there, Evan. Because, like, the thing, cool thing about owning, like, the you, Mets you can't is you can be a savior. Exactly. David Freeze, the Dodgers. We'll just pull some money together, Evan. <laughs> How much is that franchise? A billion dollars? Probably more, right? Yeah, it'll, is it'll there be any what? professional sports team other than in the in NBA, M MLB, and NFL that's under a billion right now? Under a billion? 
I mean, there are a lot of teams that are like eight hundred million dollars, something like that. So that's not bad. I just think Bomber set the bar when he said two million. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what the cheapest team to buy is. Then. Cheapest pro team to buy? Yeah. Yeah, Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some hockey teams. Probably. What's the What's the cheapest? Yeah. Oh, was that a? Uh, did I miss a Bryce Harper? Well, I'm pulling all the short friends. Only make like yeah. <laughs> I'll look for it. Nick is going to be looking through all, um, and we're sorting through all, all, all of these. We're sleeping top on all the shorts. It's the one with the, uh, where he's wearing a jacket. Oh. I can pull it. In this. It was in this yeah, we'll, we'll be pulling all of those. Yeah, somewhere in there, there's a price. Logan, what's going on? Taroka. What are, what are my what are my picks tonight? I'm on the Nationals tonight. Nationals, I think we're getting no hit. <laughs> Diamondbacks are up five nothing. Delay in the bottom of the eighth. I'm on the Orioles tonight. They're only down by one at home. I'm on the Mets tonight. Mets are up by two at the end of the seventh. Uh, Ram on the Rangers tonight. They're up by one in the top of the fifth in Boston. Kansas City. I'm on Kansas City. They are up by two in the middle of the fourth inning. And I went with the Cubs tonight at so plus 173. There's a base hard. The Dodgers win, I'll be happy. If the Dodgers lose, I make some money. There's Cody Bellinger, 24 out of 50. That's for my Dodgers. TJ has my Dodgers. Oh, it's Trey Turner that broke up the no hitter. Thanks, Trey Turner. Now maybe they can score some runs. Oh, and there's Dale Murphy, Braves jersey. That'll be for Colton and the Bravos. These Vlad Juniors are shipping, but they weren't as short printed as we thought they were. They don't have a number on the back for some reason, but we saw like a handful of those. Cubs are plus you, 173. Yeah, it's Kershaw. The Kershaw is always overvalued. Wow. Still? <laughs> it's a public team, too. Yeah. So, uh, you know, people in LA are like, well, Kershaw? Yeah. LA? You know, John Lester sucks. And then it'll, and then it'll be like, like extra innings. Yeah. The Dodgers are like minus 180 something. And they really should be like minus 130. Yeah. yeah. You know? 140. Like the Kershaw charge is like another 30, 40 cents sometimes. Yeah. It's, yeah Lester's it's been true. struggling a little bit too, so I think yeah. that's, there's that. Darren Ravel, the scandal. What scandal? Like, you know how he's at Action Network now? Yeah, he's at Action, well, Darren Ravel, Action, Action Network. Network. You can, like, change your picks. So he's, he's been changing his picks after the game's over. To what? make it look like he has a better record. When and did for, the, when like, did... a tout service, it's, like... Yeah, that's not good. Long. When did the, when did this happen? I don't know, but there's, like, an article. In the... Like, recently? Yeah, like, today or yesterday. <laughs> why would why would they even allow you to change picks after the game starts? Know. That's that's but a that's an app like, issue. Paul does it and like, it a whole oh thing. man! 
I, I mean, like <laughs> you shouldn't actually be tailing any of those guys. No. It's just like you just go there for the for, articles, yeah, like just for the like information. For yeah, for fun, yeah. It's just kind of lighthearted. But like, if you're actually tailing those guys' picks, like Darren Ravel's picks, like what does Darren Ravel know? Yeah. There was also another minor scandal, with Darren Ravel. I think he, he spoiled Jeopardy. Yeah, games. he spoiled Jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody always hates him, <laughs> Darren Ravel. So, like, apparently yeah, he yeah. did it after, like, Central Time or something. No, like. he said, like, because for some reason Jeopardy airs in, mar like, different markets at Different times, time. yeah. So South Alabama, I think it was, aired at, like, really early in the morning. So he published it. And after that. After that. But that was, like, the only market to air. Like, not even New York or... Come on, or Darren. So, yeah, everyone was mad at him. He just that. wanted to get the scoop. He wanted to interview that guy. And then he also had another one. LSU, like, women's volleyball, had a second-place billboard up. Congratulations to the second place. And he was just railing on it, and he got, he got roasted on, on Twitter for it. <laughs> Darren Ravel. I guess ESPN was just muzzling Darren Ravel. And Darren Ravel's like, no, I want, I want to be heard. <laughs> I want to be heard now. You see that blue guy who had 400 bucks and won 100000 I saw that. When they were the worst team. And he didn't hedge I at all, according to... Did not hedge. I think Jason told me about it. Yeah, and a couple of people in the chat yesterday mentioned it, too. Some guy had a $400 bet on the St. Louis Blues to win back in January, I think, when they were the worst team in hockey. Yeah. And then held on to the ticket the entire way through the playoffs. I think the casino that he got it at offered him to hedge. He could win $100,000. I think they were like, we'll give you $50,000 or something. And he was like, nope. Held on to it. And the Blues ended up winning in Game 7. Now he has $100,000. Man, I wouldn't even... I'd have to watch it blindfolded. Hey, yeah, how could you watch that game? Although, I guess they, they went ahead pretty early, so I'd, I'd feel yeah, pretty... But, but you'd beforehand. be... Oh, yeah, beforehand. What would you guys do? Would you guys hedge, or would you guys ride it out? I don't know. That's That's definitely scared money don't make money right there. Yeah, and he's a Blues fan. If I'm a Blues fan, then I think maybe I would not hedge. Yeah, I'd be You know what I mean? No, I'd, I'd hedge like 10000 but I'd have someone else do it. Like, I wouldn't place it just for the bad luck. Right. But, a lot but like, of you people, wouldn't take the offer, right? No, on like those stupid tickets. Well, swaps, like, the, yeah, the casino yeah. would be like, hey, we'll, I think we'll those, buy back your ticket for $50,000 yeah, or something. Those ticket swap websites stupid. Why don't you just hedge money? I, I know it's hard to get money, but you can get it somewhere. I think it's for people who, like, have the ticket and are then go out of state or something like that. Like, they yeah, go to Vegas like, and they buy the ticket. I mean, Vegas is cheap to fly to. Fly and hedge it and get more money. You would think. But, I mean, it is hard to find $10,000. Right. Or, like, a large amount of money like that. Unless you're connected to the mafia. I mean, if you think about it, he only put like four hundred bucks down on a future, which is not. Yeah. But if which is not horror, which is not like you if know. If you lose that, I mean, that would have been a <laughs> a rough. Night. And he, well, when the when the Blues got smoked in Game Six. Yeah. I'm sure he was just like, damn it. And then the Bruins were like minus one eighty. Yep. That's tough. There's Ben Intendi. We got Mangara Sierra to 50. We got a medallion coming up for the Purple Mountains, I think, looks like. It's for the Rockies. There we go. Todd Helton. Nice. You got a commemorative medallion. And that goes to John. I was think that's Johnny. For Helton? He said he was looking for a Helton. Johnny Alley. Sports Cards. 130s? Some are 130, some are 180s. Some are, some are cut a little bit thicker. Yeah. This one is a little. No, uh, it's a little tight, but a little wrinkly on the penny sleeve. But there you go. Nice. Some of these can be numbered, but this one isn't. But still cool. There you go. You're welcome, Johnny.
is Jared Hughes. I didn't realize they, they had 2 one -0. For the Rockies, there's Ian Desmond. How's your fantasy baseball team doing? Fantasy garbage. Really? Yeah. It was, I, like I, you guys haven't I had, had like two great weeks. Years. I had two great weeks, and then it just. There's the next box right here. Two great weeks, and I'm slipping again, and people are offering us like bad trades because they think we're tanking or. Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, Golden State's up by one at the almost the end of the first quarter. Boston Graphs, what's going on? Good to see you. You just caught us in the middle of a two case break. We're doing a hobby case and a jumbo case of the brand new 2019 Topps Series 2 Baseball. I think we're making some decent time right now. There's Brock Holt. We let a ball skip away from him, let Hunter Pence score a uh, score. Hit an inside the park one run. We should be done with this in an hour and a half or so. We've got another break lined up right after that, and we'll probably do a few more things after that before we call it a night. Everyone had Kyle Lowry in their daily fantasy lineups, right? I feel like we could get sponsored by DraftKings. This Series 2 break brought to you by DraftKings. Those Raptors uniforms are hideous. Stay tuned for a, uh, I don't know, somehow like a free code to get people to keep watching <laughs> throughout this hour, two hour long break. Yeah, we had a few NBA Finals mixers. I don't think I like those uniforms. They're terrible. They look like the old Hawks uniforms, don't they? Atlanta Hawks uniforms? Yeah, but they have the North on it. It's like stupid. They're not even the most Northern team, if you think about it. Like, Detroit is f further North. Is it? Is it really? Yeah. I do not know my, my, my latitudes and longitudes. Like, if you look out on the globe... So like if you follow the latitude line, I think like they're would on a, be more, wow. for, or Detroit or one of those, maybe Portland. Portland might be higher, yeah. Huh. I guess you're right. So it's like, but I mean. So they're not the north. No. Oh, we the north, blah blah blah. I guess they're the northernmost country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, then they should be called the Canada Raptors. They should actually. They'd have a bigger market. Yeah, why not just call it? They should, they should just be the, the Canada Raptors, I think. The Canadian Raptors. Yeah, Canadian Raptors. <laughs> you ever think about it? Like, did they just make up the dinosaur? Like, who made up the dinosaur noise? Like, no one was ever around. <laughs> to, like,. What, like in Jurassic Park? Like, who was just like, this is how a velociraptor sounds? Right, but I'm sure it was before Jurassic Park, right? Someone had made up a sound? Yeah. Was it Jurassic Park that made up the noises? I, I mean... I mean... I think so. They were the first, like, mainstream modern dinosaur, dinosaur movie, so maybe Steven Spielberg was like... But how did they like, proof that, like, dinosaurs made those noises? I think the implication is that they, they have uh, sort of bird-like features... More than uh, lizard features, like we used to think. Yeah. Modern modern paleontology suggests that that ra that that those are more bird-like creatures, dinosaurs. So that may they make more yeah. of a screeching bird sound. Is that right, folks? Is there? Do we have a paleontologist? We've got twenty-nine people watching right now. One of you have to be a paleontologist. There's Roger Clemens. That's for the Red Sox. I've always wondered that, though. So they probably were like, ah, it probably sounds, has like the screech of an eagle. All right, Toronto up by one at the end of the first quarter. Is 
this guy Anos? Wow, they're playing great. Wow. Is ESPN going for Toronto? Well, uh, I think William L. was mentioning, hey, wait a second, isn't that Steph Curry mini golf show on ABC? And I think it is. So is that a conflict of interest? Yeah, it should be, right? Because, like, you know, maybe the ABC broadcast wants Steph Curry to win so they can... Boost ratings? Yeah, they can boost ratings, run some more of those holy moly commercials. They want it to go seven games. That's for sure. All right, all the advertisers, including Steph Curry's show. So they could be, like, NBA Finals champion Steph Curry's yeah. show. 100 pence right there. Um, I don't know if this is going to happen again, ladies and gentlemen, but we had an instance last night where we had a Gary V, you know, and uh, another player dual autograph. So when in that particular case, what we did last night was we had a randomizer for the Gary V autograph spot and then whatever the player was. We'll do it that way. Hi, Laurent. Laurent, schedule is in the chat. We have a long ways to go before we're doing the next thing. But if you look at the time in the chat, you can kind of check in around 8 o'clock Pacific. We should be ready for the next thing by then. Maybe even a tad bit earlier. Immaculate three Immaculate three sold out. Oh, Immaculate three sold out. So Immaculate three might be in that eight fifteen time slot. We need a intern producer. Yeah, we can use an we can use an intern. Post one from Google or something. Sure they like work here more than Google. Yeah. They want to work at Jaspers more than Yeah, we can find S Snapchat. Uh, well, Nick helped me with the first break last night. And he's helping me with this one now. But the, the one we did late last night. I was going to help with the second one, but then you didn't sell out fast enough, it yeah. To torture Joe, I think. Right, I think that's what happened. It took me like two hours and 40 minutes. This one, I think, will be about an hour and 45. Yeah, this one's going along, breezing along. So this medallion is out of 150. That's for the Astros. That's going to go to James. Simile autograph there. Finest baseball and luminance both need to go. Yeah, we got time to do that both of those tonight. Yeah, Daniel O, we can do finest. Finest is I think Nine down to five. Five. I think just the Yankees are the big team. And luminance is down to four teams straight up and ten spots in a team random, which should be pretty easy to do. There's Mangaris Sierra. And um, since we're getting a little help from Nick right now, this break should be done a lot more quickly. You know, I'll still have some uh, energy left for the last couple hours of the of the broadcast, so we can rock through a lot more stuff too. Noir. Yep, Noir basketball. Number five is down to two. That's gonna go. So that should definitely go. That's only a 25, 30 minute break. That's the Mavericks out there. No, I think the Mavs sold out Mavs are gone. straight up, yeah. And I, I, I think I remember someone getting in break five. Next time, Arthur, I'm going to have an Eagles temporary tattoo just so you can watch. <laughs> you got to do that football season. Yeah, football. The football opening night football mixer, I'll have that. Yeah, Arthur, this one will be a breeze. 
with uh, with Mr. Nick's help. Yeah, in Angels, I remember someone grabbed, snagged the Angels in Finest, so those are gone. So it's five relatively inexpensive teams that are left. I think a couple of the other bigger teams were snapped up already, too. There's Matt Kemp, who I think is in the Mets minor league system now. I really think, like, in the... Uh, yeah, Reds released him. I think... He wasn't playing well? No. Or just contract? I, I think he wasn't playing well, contract, and he got injured, and Didn't then they, and they just released year? him. His first half was great. Oh, the second half wasn't good? Yeah. I think they should Mets just... Mets just have uh, all the washed-up guys. Cano, Kemp. <laughs> they should have Matt Kemp, like, DH. I don't know why NL teams keep picking him up. You would think it would boost his batting average a little bit. Not having a feel. Uh, yes, that's a good idea, TJ. Yeah, I'll, once the uh, jumbo starts to open up, we'll move all the hobby here. And we'll try to put like a divider or something like that so we know which, which is which. Just so people can keep track of when hobby ends and where jumbo begins. It looks like a CPA. It looked like a CPA, but it was not. I like, flipped it and I was like, wait a second. Remember the big sepia argument of 2014? I do not remember the sepia argument of 2014. Was it sepia or sepia? Yeah. Is it sepia or sepia? I think it's, it's sepia. People say it both ways, I think. Sepia? Yeah. Instagram said it was sepia or something. Wow. I always said sepia like you just did. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's sepia. That's like gif or gif. You guys, people say, say people say GIF. People say GIF. Bo Bomani Jones <laughs> uh, from ESPN yeah, is yeah. hell bent on saying it's GIF. GIF. I think the like the creator. He said because he said GIF. the creator yeah. says it's GIF, right? So are we saying GIF from now on, you I'm guys? GIF. You're going with GIF. There's Daniel Mangden. Okay, so these are all the hobbies. All right, so coming into frame are all of the hobbies right here. Hobby, Julio Urias is the hobby stack, hobby stack, hobby stack, hobby Julio stack. Urias. And uh, yeah, that Julio. And this uh, this blank card right here you see on the top camera. We'll put that right there. And so everything oh, no. on the other side of that will be. will be Jumbo. These are all hobby in front of me here. Yeah, someone grabbed the Yankees. Yeah, I mean, if the Yankees are like the last team left and we've got some time, yeah, we may pop that into some sort of spot random. I don't think we should have to, though. I feel like the Yankees, people purchase straight up. Get the Mario Rivera cards. Yeah, I think they purchased them straight up pretty easily, so... I feel like one if I'll bet you if the Yankees if the finest break is down to one and it's just the Yankees left, I'll bet someone will just buy the Yankees straight up. So I say just get the other four teams and I'll bet you the Yankees will sell out. Someone will be like, that's it? Just the Yankees? I'll go for some Mariano Rivera, Derek Jeter autographs that you know, that Joe hasn't pulled as of yet. Is that from Uline? TJ spotted your skeleton fish knife from Uline. I think Matt ordered this. Oh, Matt ordered it from Uline? Yeah. Trader. I got stuck with it. Man. There you go. Mark Matson is offering to take the old Bronx Bombers if it ends up being the last team, so... Take them up on that offer, boys and girls. We can get finest baseball on the docket. Do that. Thanks, Mark. That was a nice offer. 
We have not pulled a Derek Cheater or Marion Rivera autograph yet, so I know they're hard to pull, but maybe we'll get lucky. Twins, another Twins autograph. That's Fernando Romero. It's another Twinkie for Steve Locke. Cianel Perez for the Astros. This is this the last, the last one coming up? This is the what? Last double yeah, this is the last double header break. Is that is that what you're asking, Rolando? Immaculate had sold out, so we can get that on the schedule right now. If you look in the chat, and flash too, looks like. Or was that Immaculate three, right? Yeah, Immaculate three and Flash five. I think sold out. One of the two. I don't know which sold out first, but one of the two. They both really quick. Shohei Otani is three for three with a double, a triple, and a home run. He just needs a single. Unless it's behind. Unless it's behind. Oh, yeah. Otani's batting after Trout, so uh, it's too late. It already happened on TV. <laughs> we need DVR. DVR. It's right behind you. So Mike Trout just popped out. According to MLB Game Day. Yeah, they just kind of showed it. All right, see so these, these forced one, one, two, three, four. Those are still hobby editions, and Nick's working on. If you see in the, the camera above my head, he's the working on the jumbo stacks, really stacks right there. <laughs> They're really tall. I don't know how. I guess I have to raise this can. I think. Don't worry, we're not skimming off the top of these <laughs> series two cards. Josh Rogers. There you go, Otani in play, no out. <laughs> Home run. I don't know. That would be the single, I think, for the cycle. Oh. Yep, single think... singles on a line drive to center field, completing the cycle. Do you think like a player, if if they're up big, he needs a single for the cycle and hits one in the gap, he stays at first. Depends on the game. <laughs> if they're I think up nine nothing, if they're up nine nothing. Race. Yeah, if they're up nine nothing, I'll bet he stops. Yeah, and gets the cycle. <laughs> If it's close, you got to go for two. People would, baseball writers would be so furious. <laughs> yeah. They would get so mad. Marcus Stroman to 150 is your relic for the uh, Blue Jays. Travis Stevens. Selfish player, this, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if, like, the game is within, like, two, or if you're, like, yeah. up by two, down by two, like, you got you to gotta hustle for the double. Hustle for yeah. a double. wonder if that's ever happened. Where the player stops. For the, just to get the cycle? Yeah, or if he like ignores his base coach and goes for two. Even. Stretches it. It has you know to what I would do it. I would fake an injury and then like hobble back it has to first. To <laughs> <laughs> the score could screw you too. Yeah. The score could be like, oh, that was an error. Yeah, or that error. was, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Funny. I saw the Mike Trout cycle. I was at that game 2013. 
first Japanese born player of a cycle. Really? Ichiro's never had a cycle? No. Wow. I guess the home run part. Yeah, but Ichiro could hit a home run like if, he wa if he wants to. Right? You would think, yeah, you would think like Matsui would have done it. Or like some some like random like speedy good average yeah. like infielder or something like that Japanese infielder who've done it. Yeah, you think? I guess not. We'll get him next time, Logan. We'll get him next time. A noir is especially hard to hit in. Yeah, we haven't seen a Pete Alonso since like the first box of the first pick your team, I feel like. An autograph? Sure did. Yeah, we, we pulled a Pete Alonso autograph in this break somewhere. Yes, and number so two think, then, yeah. Pick your team. Oh, was it? It must have been two? number two. I don't remember it, number one. Or am I thinking of finest? Maybe, Maybe I'm thinking finest. of finest, actually. We haven't seen one at all then, Evan, so let's try, to, let's try to find one. Did Matt Shoemaker get hurt again? Think Prob right? Probably. <laughs> There's like no, no more Mazzara. What did I wonder what Otani did first. Oh, I guess I'll look this up later. But Double? I don't know why I use MLB, no offense. Love MLB. Mm. What do you use? ESPN. Are we using ESPN for, for scores? <laughs> we should have our own Jaffe scoreboard. We should have our own scoreboard. I don't know. I just think it's a little cleaner. I, mean, I actually think it is a little bit cleaner. I just it, It's easier on the eyes just because of the white background. It's a little... I feel like, yeah, I feel like MLB has a lot more, going on on the site. A little site. more Too much going on on the site. I'm trying to figure out. I don't think the game cast is when, as good, probably. When's the last time. Can someone look up. Uh, when's the last time uh, someone hit a cycle in order? A single, double, triple, then home run? Has it ever happened? Ha well, yeah. Has it even happened? And if so, who's the last time, last person to do it? Someone has had to do it. A cycle in order. Google doesn't even like. <laughs> TJ's like TJ, you you can take just get get Jaspies on the phone on your YouTube app. You can you can take us anywhere, the shower, the bathroom, you know, the grocery oh, store. Collecting the hits in that order is known as a natural cycle. A natural cycle, yeah. It occurred fourteen times in the MLB. And the last one has done it. Now I gotta look up natural cycle. And now he's the first ever. Just, just off, just off. What was the order? Do you remember? Oh yeah, Otani hit a home run. That was the first one. Then his nice. next one was a double, home run, double. Triple and single, right? Right, triple, and then the single. Oh, Josh Bruce has it. I was just gonna. Josh guys, it. Gary Matthews Jr. Guess who did it? That was in 2006. Guess who did it in 2003 for the Expos? 2003 for the Expos. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Brad, um, Brad Wilkerson. Brad Wilkerson? Yeah. Guess who did it in 2000 for the White Sox? For the White Sox. Tim Raines. Jose Valentin. Jose Valentin? I was going to say Todd Zeal maybe. J.D. Martinez relic going to the Red Sox. Paul Guess who was the Wood. first ever to do it for the Boston Doves? Doves. Doves. The Boston Doves. What year? 1910. 1910? Uh, Billy D Bob Dorr. Bill Collins. Bill Collins. Come on. Ah, I should have known. I remember watching Bill Collins in 1910 when I was a kid. <laughs> Ryan Braun. During the Great Depression. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You would take like you would like, you would you would deliver papers for a nickel, and then Not you would even a nickel. then you would take it to the ball game. Yeah, a cup of a few pennies. A penny. 
You go to the ball game trying to convince the guy to going for free. get you a ticket. Uh, sneak in. No, I would be watching through like a, a knot hole in the fence. <laughs> I've never even heard of the Boston Doves. Uh, Rays. Ranger, uh, Angels are playing the Tampa Bay Rays. Boston Doves turn into the Boston Braves, turn into the Atlanta Braves. Doves. One year the Braves just put a bird on their uniform. They'd be like, yeah. where'd that come from? It's like, duh, 1910 no, Doves. by Dove, the soap company. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There you go, even Get better. In there. How are my picks doing? I have the I'm on the Nationals. They're in a rain delay. They're down by five. I'm on Baltimore. They're getting crushed right now, down by seven. Mets. I think I have the most money on the Mets tonight. They're up by two. Top of the ninth. Two outs. So I need that for sure. Rangers might be a little bit of a bonus. They're tied at six in the sixth. I'm on the Royals. I'm on Gilo's Royals. They're up by five in the bottom of the fifth. So I'm looking good there. And I'm on the Cubbies tonight. If the Cubs win, I make money. If the Dodgers win, I'll be happy if the Dodgers won. And Mark Masson reporting that someone got uh, the Yankees in finest. Nice. So then the rest of the team should be easy. Should knock those out easy. It's Dominic Smith. So we can put finest on the schedule, which would be fine by me. Schedule in the chat, folks. Take a look. We might readjust some of those times because might be a tiny bit ahead of schedule after this break. Well, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Hobby case is almost done. We just have these three stacks right here. And you can see on the camera above my head, all of these are the, uh, the jumbos right there. And jumbo is a breeze. And there's more uh, hits in there, so there's... It's kind of more things to see, more things to look forward to. Got a lot going, a lot of baseball. Otani's hitting for the cycle. Golden State up by three. Correct. That's the only flash we have on the site. So yeah, it's the random card. Do we have any dentists in the chat? I need it. I have TMJ. I, yeah, I know. I, I I have got a little stiffness in the jaw right here too. It could TM be I've could be TMJ. TMJ. For like a year. Do you chew a lot of gum? No. I stopped chewing gum because my jaw pops every time I open it. That's not good. Yeah. There's Jay Hap. I think TMJ, sometimes you might have to have surgery for that. Oh, God. There's Rice Iglesias, the tendons. Don't see it. You get headaches? Yeah, I do. Migraines. A lot of times, that's, re that's, that's what causes it. a result of the TMJ. Result. Do you grind your teeth at night? Probably. You can buy mouth guards to not, shoot, it, not to bite down as hard, and that could relieve the tension. To your draw. tendons right here, which helps with headaches. I'll uh, I'll I'll get, I'll send you the link to the one I got on Amazon recently. I need to go to Mexico to a dentist. Drive down to Tijuana. Free insurance. Oh yeah, that's right. Way cheaper medicine too. It's like it's like a tenth of the price. You think it's the same way in Canada? You think it's cheaper in Canada? Yeah, but I don't know, like, can an out of, out of country person drive to Canada and do that? I don't think so. No, right? Maybe not. Or do they just let it? They just cross the border in, like, Vancouver and get well, get their that, get their yeah. cheap prescription drugs up there. Mexico's a lot closer. It is a lot closer. <laughs> you got fast passes there and everything, too. Yeah. That's why I call them fast passes. Like, <laughs> Disneyland fast passes. Yeah. No, I was saying, like, I, I need to go to a dentist. Just oh. drive down there. Oh, Mexico's There's Will the Thrill out of 50. I don't know why I'm not. I haven't been to a dentist in probably five years. Uh, it's been a little bit for me, too. All right. Got two hobby boxes to go. I got my wisdom teeth. And then we'll start working on I the never jumbos. I wanted to go back. I just got some laughing gas during that. He'd even put me under. It's terrible. I don't know when I broke my tooth. They just yanked it off. Oof. With the door handle? I don't know. <laughs> tied, it, tied it to a door handle and string? Yeah, like, uh, Someone slams the door? Like, ah. I remember it just numbed my lip, and I was like, whoa. But I still felt the yanking. Yeah. Like, oh. I don't think I ever did the door handle thing. Oh, yeah. I you always see it in TV shows. Kind of mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. But door handles are scary. That sounds, yeah, that sounds that terrifying. That is a little scary. Has anyone have their teeth pulled out, maybe by like, mom or dad? Or tied, tied it to a string, to a doorknob, and they close the door? <laughs> I'd like to know. Who's the first person to do that? <laughs> like, oh, let's do that. It's that's like, that's a good idea. <laughs> let's try that. It's like in the Chris, uh, Christmas story when he gets his mouth washed with soap when he says oh, the curse yeah. words. Oh, yeah, and he gets stuck. I'm just, I'm just going to knock all of my teeth out and just start over. Alex got that um, Smile Direct Club. Oh, thing. the uh, Invisalign stuff? Mm -hmm. Stephen Parker has that, too. It's supposed to. Alex has been doing it. Okay. I'm not so much worried about that. I'm so much worried about the TMJ. Yeah. Kyle Shorver, piece of his bat. That goes to Tony with the Cubs. There you go, Tony. Kyle, any chance you put you put all to all the stadium cars, sell them as a set? Probably zero chance, I think. Because um, these are group breaks, Kyle, so everyone's getting all the different stadium cards. Sam Strayer, you use file on your teeth if you chip one? There you go. It's like hockey players. Yeah, Sam Strayer is like, yeah, he's like hockey player tough. Like, well, everything doesn't ship, but the stadium cards do ship. Those are like, those would be like inserts, I guess. Veteran commons don't ship, but every team that buys a team in this particular break, they'll get a little stack of veteran commons. Mystery stack. I'm sure. I'm sure, Kyle. Someone's built a a base set of those already, though. It's got to be online at this point on the bay. I hate that little dip there. I know we gotta we gotta fix that table. Scurry. I think we're just gonna get a new table. One that one that goes. Ooh. We can crank up or. All right, all right. Gonna adjust. Or like a remote control one. It's a little more high end. Fancy. They sell them at IKEA. Oh. So it's not that fancy. Okay. I thought we we're like, are we getting NASA technology in the store? <laughs> IKEA technology. It's good. What Swedish? Good, yeah, Swedish. The Swedes are always good at technology. This is Mark Kana. There's all the jumbo right. There. Oh, that's it? Nice. So there's this, you see on the, your top camera, you'll see the six stacks of jumbo for the six boxes, and there's three hits per box in there. I put the other ones over there. Oh, so like this stuff will ship, right? So this red carpet stuff will be, I'll set that one aside now, but if I, if I, if I can spot them, Quickly, then I'll I'll pull them. I've been pulling all them. Yeah, and we've got we've got a two stage sorting system for these particular breaks. Nick Jaspi will be pulling uh, any inserts or variations we may have missed, and then the other shipping crew will then fly through these and sort them by team and get them on their way. Shipping team were telling me that they they got all the cases knocked out today, so I think you'll be. I thought it was going to take an extra day or two, but you, these might go out tomorrow, folks. Oh, they're having a major league game here? In Omaha. Right. They're having one in I Omaha. They're using metal bats. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Ping! Just like DraftKings cheat. Cheat mode. Ping! Oh, should we watch tennis from Maui? No, we don't even watch this. The Invesco series QQQ, you don't have any? Okay. No, I'm not not gonna. No, I only bet Grand Slams. Okay. Aaron Sanchez. He wants to get a new trash can system. There's gotta be a better. You know, we, we gotta we gotta rethink some systems when we go to the new store. Eco friendly. You know, for most of beach, you're not allowed to 
even sell plastic bags. You know how you can usually sell them for ten cents uh -huh. if you're a store. We can't even sell them at all. Also, doesn't allow them. <laughs> so do we have we have to get paper bags? Yeah. With maybe Jaspi logos on them. I guess, or just steal some from Vons. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could. <laughs> Does it have Vons logos on it? I guess. We could just put a sticker on it. Oh, we do have those stickers. Yeah. Gotta put them to use. I just thought that was crazy. They would not, There's no, Rizzo. Most of each will not like us. Our foot. Our, our carbon footprint. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, I, mean, I think it's not I, all our fault because tops and panini and stuff. I think we need bigger dumpsters. Yeah, tops and panini should just make jumbo well, we're sets. Have our own dumpster <laughs> in our parking lot. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I only saw those small like residential yeah, trash cans out there. Yeah, those would be wild. Well, I mean, we'd have to have four of those. Day. Yeah. No, four of those per day. Per day. We haven't seen any stars variations in this case. Are they only jumbo? I don't, that I don't know. Maybe. No, they're in hobby. They're in hobby too. Nick says they're also in hobby. It's Chris Shaw, 2019. I think we got a pirates one yesterday in the hobby. You can take the whole thing. Future stars, Alex Verdugo. Might have an outside chance of being an all-star this year. There's you, Darvish. Almost done with the hobby case, folks. And then we'll fly through the jumbo case. And then we'll be done. There's Kurt Suzuki. 67. And there's Mike Trout. Nice. Game used relic in that old 84 format design. That is for Diane and the Angels. Yeah, nice cool. trout. We haven't seen those. We had this one in the hobby, the Iglesias. There's the Iglesias above my head. Stars parallel. I think there's harder. Okay. Why do they call Jeff Samarja the shark? Do you have any does anyone have any idea? They call him the shark. Name. That's like Last his nickname. Name. Samarja. Remember him as a Notre Dame tight end. I know, isn't that crazy? He's gonna be a first round pick. He's like, made I don't... way more in baseball. Made way more in baseball. The Giants. That was a ridiculous contract. Half as talented in baseball <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and made <laughs> double as much. Quarter as talented. And I think he started as a uh, not a closer, but like a relief pitcher too with the Cubs. All right, so everything on the other side of this will be jumbo. So there will be three hits per box there. They made some bad contracts. You got, you got the... One guaranteed autograph per box, and then there'll be a the two relics. College. Someone called him Shark out of nowhere. All right, so there's jumbo one. It's a kind of underwhelming story. That was a very underwhelming story. I, th I thought like he was like a, a shark hunter or something like that, or swam with sharks. And someone just called him shark one day. Someone, yeah, it. and it stuck. Yeah. Like, hey, how many passes are you gonna catch, shark? And he'd be like, okay, shark. Yeah, yeah, I am a shark. Like a substitute teacher pronounced his name wrong. Right, and they're like, uh, Jeff Shark Maja. They're like, ah, shark. And then it just stuck. It's like, all right, well, we won't use that in the Sports Illustrated feature. <laughs> At that point, you just got to make something up. Yeah. You got to be like, yeah, that's... 
It's not like you're lying about your like your resume or no, in high school, whatever it is. Yeah, no, you, you, yeah. Like Miracosa, I yeah. had like a touchdown and I like and I shark. swam like a shark. I did a shark. Yeah. Finest is gone. Nice. I'll add that to the schedule. The schedule might be off a little bit depending on what filled first, but. So that we should we're kind of booked up until around 9:30 Pacific. We'll readjust some of those times if we obviously finish some stuff earlier, but as of now, we've got about an hour and a half left in the broadcast, which is perfect for Luminance, which is like 40 minutes. That'd be perfect. Luminance and a couple other one box breaks, we can do that. So Adam Wainwright, that's Matt Barnes, that's Adam Wainwright, 2019. And we've got J.D. Martinez medallion. That'll be for uh, Paul Coolwit and the Red Sox. Flash 6 sold out. Flash 6. Do you know if that sold out before or after Finest Seal Curtain? I can look. I don't know. We'll figure. We'll go. I'm, I'll go through orders after this, and we'll get an exact schedule. But there's a tentative schedule right there. Flash 6 sold out first. Before finest, oh, we'll just add flash six to the schedule because someone's yeah. gonna be like, "Yeah, it did, it okay. did." Still, curtain bought all five of number oh, six at that's seven that's how two, he and then Joseph A just bought the last two finest teams about ten minutes later. Gotcha. So just to be safe, I know I'm, I'm just kind of guesstimating a little bit later, but so now maybe around 9.45ish we'll be ready for the next break. Nice, we'll, we'll get it, we'll, we'll get it, we'll work our way to that flash break steel curtain. Thank you, man. All right, next. So looking for the autograph out of here and one more relic. If you're the Nationals, do you trade Max Scherzer, Nick? What's their record? Their record is not very good. Below 500? Yeah. Maybe What's creeping. What's his contract? Two, two, years? two more years left, but they backloaded the contract. So starting uh, this yeah. year and next year, it's like $35 yeah. million. I think they regret not trading Harper. So I think you have to trade Scherzer. They're eight games behind. Yeah, you trade uh, First, and they are 31. They are 463 is their, is their winning percentage. Yeah, I think you'd trade him. I think they should have traded Harper last year. They probably should have. I mean, even for... For another, prospect something. Yeah. You can probably get, like, someone's top five outfield prospect, right? Or two. Because I feel like it was written on the like wall that he wasn't coming back. Like, it was right. kind of clear. And Scherzer gets kind of expensive really quick, too, because they backloaded that deal. And, and if they're not content... And, I mean, they have enough star players, they can fill seats, you know? Yeah. Juan Soto, Victor Robles, yeah. Trey Turner. Yeah. Strasburg's still there forever, you know? Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton, when healthy, he's, he's still out there. So um, now, folks, Carter. Nick and the rest, there's Dakota Carter Hudson. Keyboom. Yeah, Carter Keyboom's there. Um what do you? What can you trade for Scherzer? <laughs> I don't know. Like a, almost a perennial Cy Young, like top five Cy Young candidate every year. Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals. That is out of fifty. It's like what did Verlander go? F Grant Wright. Tigers Astros trade a couple years ago. It's kind of similar. I think Scherzer is a little above Verlander, maybe. Yeah, Verlander maybe with same amount of years left on the contract at that time. Yeah, or maybe he just had the last. Ooh, the yeah. Last Who did maybe. they get? I think they got. Did they get Matt Boyd out of that? Maybe something similar though. Any Tigers fans here remember that? Guys are maybe a year or two away from being major league ready starters. Yeah, he, so he had twenty eight million owed in 2018-2019. Sure. So yeah, that is pretty similar. So it's pretty similar, right? 
Yeah. They sent three prospects. Nomar Mazzara, 2019. Daz Cameron, Jake Rogers, and Franklin Perez. Huh. Oh, I don't mean... They're number three, number nine, number 11 prospect at gotcha. that time. So maybe they can get a little more for sure. Then. Probably could. Because Ver, I feel like Verl Verlander was kind of tailing if, off, maybe. I if think. you're the... Well, yeah, people thought he was tailing off. Yeah, I think that's why... Yeah, really good then season. Yeah. With the Astros, he crushed, and I think there was just kind of like revived his love for the game, whatever you want to call it. And, mm -hmm. And he's just been destroying ever since. Um, Max Scherzer. Who, will, who needs Max Scherzer? Who can afford him? Who needs him? Uh, There's Framber Valdez, 6'7". Dodgers. Dodgers, but, they but I don't Trump think they're... Kind of... I don't think they're going to move anybody for him. And the, I mean, they've used a lot of their pieces. Last yeah. Match, right? yeah they're, pay, they're paying A.J. Pollock, and they're, they re-signed Kershaw, so... Yeah. You think Yankees? What if the Yankees give him like Gio Urshela and Gary Sanchez? I feel like it's always maybe the Phillies. I feel like it's always the same teams. I, they wouldn't trade him in division, right? They would not trade him in division. I feel like it's always the same teams in these trades. <laughs> you know what? You know who should do it? Um, freaking Twins. Minnesota. Yeah. Yep, Twins yeah, should yeah. do it. You just you move like Miguel Sano or something, and, and play, right, yeah. just in some top prospects, yeah, and like having a Max Scherzer on top of that Twins rotation, yeah, and that and the way they hit, Ooh. trade Buxton or something. Another Cardinal, that's Matt Carpenter. I don't know what pieces they have, but I know they got some. We've seen a lot of young Twins prospects in these Bowman products and stuff too. So Nick Gordon, they've got some guys. Yeah, and if they can get some guys that are about Juan Soto and Victor Robles' age, mm -hmm. get a get that team grows together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you steal one of their pitching prospects, Trevor May or something like that. Yeah, that team is crazy. The Twins it came out of nowhere. They're just hitting a ton. Yeah. I feel like it's not sustainable, so maybe that's why you go pitching and then mm -hmm. try to balance it all out. Like who's who's their best hitter? Who's their best player? They're all hitting. Like Eddie Rosario's Kepler. raking, Kapler's raking. All right, let's slide this jumbo box over. I was high on Byron Box, and he's been Nelson Cruz is there. Um, maybe a little bit less than ninety minutes left. SKS, we're getting there. Maybe another 30 40, minutes, yeah, 30, 30, 40 minutes left. I, I originally said 8 o'clock Pacific, so maybe a little bit after 8 o'clock Pacific. We've got Nick Pavetta, speaking of the Phillies. That'll be for Mark Matheson, the fighting Phils. So we, we may need a few minutes, well, I may need a few minutes to just Snack on some food really quick, put this break away, print out all the labels for this, and get the desk ready for the next break. But that shouldn't take very long. We should be ready for the next break fairly shortly after we do a handful more boxes. Sean Young saying, Twins be rolling. They are rolling. They are rolling. So, yeah, if it's like Scherzer... Jose Barrios, Kyle Gibson, and then Jake Odorizzi and Michael Pineda look really good as four and five starters instead of like three and four starters. We are 10 games ahead. Wow, Twins haven't even lost a road series yet? Well, have they been, who have they been playing though? Have they been playing like kind of scrubby teams? The AL Central is not, not scaring anybody. Oh, CJ Crone is there too. He's been raking. What? Yeah. That disappoints me. That, he's been, he he's come back to life. I thought he was with the Rays. 275, 15 home runs and 45 RBIs for CJ Crone. Angels could sure use that. So so he's like back. Marwin Gonzalez was a great pickup. Scope is hitting yeah, decently. Is good. Jorge Polanco is raking. Um Eddie Rosario has been raking. Gonzalez and then, is good in fantasy. He and then like Buxton and, Ke Buxton and Kepler are solid. Yep. Baseball. 
and uh, third, and Nelson Cruz has been DHing and they're and he's been hitting the ball really well. So that offense is stacked, and I like Barrios. Gibson's not bad. They they got a decent pitch, but they if they got like a we're talking if they what would you guys move for Max Scherzer? He's got two years left. Going to get paid thirty some odd million dollars a year. He's the biggest name on the trade block this biggest year. Biggest starting pitcher name on the trade block this year. He's the biggest. Uh, second biggest, like not pitcher, but just player that's been talked about. I know there's someone else. There's Albert someone. Pujols. <laughs> Albert Pujols. <laughs> that guy's not going anywhere. We'll give him up for out of 150. A bag of popcorn. A Snickers bar. But you know, without without the Joe Mauer contract, he retired. So. You guys have a lot of money left over to absorb that sort of, at least for a short period of time, right? $30 million, $30, $35 million a year for Max Scherzer for just two years? You don't even have to extend him. You move a couple high-end prospects. We got him for two years for a potential big run. Bumgarner would be cheaper, Sean. Yeah, that's true. For the Bumgarner for the Twins is not a bad idea. And just get him in the postseason. Just, just sit him in the regular season. I know they got a ten game cushion. Just keep him loose. All right, so oh, actually, so we had the three hits right there. So there's the two hits right there. So autograph is already out. So auto relic, and we're looking for one more relic out of this jumbo box. Gary Sanchez to 25, and Dustin Fowler to 2019. Bumgarner. Yeah, he Bumgarner is another big name out there. What hitters are out there, folks, that um, that could be traded, that are ripe to be traded? Josh Bell. I don't know if they've moved Josh Bell. That's like... Who did well? kind of young, right? Yeah. And that's kind of... Good deal. Who else are you going to... like? Who's going to put butts in seats? Uh, it's not going to be Kevin Newman. Although he's hitting well. They'll trade for Austin Meadows back. To get get Austin back. Meadows back? Yeah. <laughs> Do a do-over on that trade? Castellanos and the Tigers. Yeah, all the Tigers guys could. Billy Hamilton, Mark Trumbo, Justin Smoke, Jose Abreu. Paul Goldschmidt, why would he be in there? Is this last year's? And we've got Joey Gallo. I think the Rangers would add, would actually add pieces. No, they wouldn't, right? That's Joey Gallo, thirteen out of twenty-five. Nice Corey one Kluber for. And Trevor Bauer? Yeah, those guys I feel like are gone. They're trained both. I feel like they should. Rangers and Brad Hand. What? Um, Scott V with the Rangers. So those what are your three to hits. Uh, he got hit on the forearm on a comebacker, and he broke his forearm. Whoa. It was actually really bad. Like, really, you can see, like, there's like it swelled up, and there, like, yeah, there's like a forearm fracture, and he was dealing too. He was pitching pretty well. He says maybe Mike Miner too. Oh, yeah, that's who the Rangers should move, Mike Miner, he's because like he's like a war. yeah, he's but he's, he's kind of a, he's too. sort of an older dude, a veteran lefty. pitcher. They don't really need him. They could use prospects too. Yeah. So their new maybe, maybe a contending team would want. I didn't see any hitters a, on that. A Mike Miner. On the MLB article. You guys know of any hitters, folks, that that are that are on like, could be on the trading block. Like Scherzer has been talked about, obviously on the pitching side. Scherzer has been talked about. You know, Mike Miner has been talked about. The Cleveland pitchers. 
feel like the Padres might reopen talks for Trevor Bauer or something like that. Grundy's thinking that the Twins will offer, he's saying we'll offer up Royce Lewis or Kirloff for a pitcher. Royce Lewis and Alex Kirloff equals it says Marcus Bumgarner? Stroman. Marcus Stroman maybe too. I don't know if that'll be enough for Scherzer. For somebody. Marcus Stroman could be interesting too. If he gets out of that AL East. All right, four jumbo boxes to go. Let me slide another one over here. Anthony Rendon, maybe? I think they're going to re-sign Rendon. Nationals? With that Scherzer money? If they trade Scherzer? It's out of 99. Those are the vintage back as well. I'll keep Brad Hand could be on the move. Teams that need a reliever. This game's exciting. 64-64. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Game six of the NBA Finals. There's Kyle Freeland. Um, Twins fans. Oh, there's Yohan Camargo for the Bravos. What's going on with uh, Nick Gordon? I feel like Nick Gordon's beyond was all has been on the cusp of has been on the cusp of like breaking into the team, but I he's never there, never quite there. I feel like he was supposed to be up like last year. Along with like Sano and Buxton, I thought he was part of that kind of generation. Oh, yeah. Goldschmidt, I think I think Nick was looking at a free agent hitter list from last year, or a midseason trade list from last year. I don't think the I think the Cardinals are going to be interested in moving Goldschmidt. Is it really? Is it purely a no room for Nick Gordon? I guess he hasn't necessarily hit his way into the lineup, right? With Polanco there. Eddie Murray. Nice. Eddie Murray for the Orioles. Mark Matheson with that medallion. It's on a heavier cardstock, too. Nice. Not numbered, but still a cool look, I think. Nice. So that's the second hit out of this jumbo. Maybe, maybe, D, maybe D Gordon, maybe Nick Gordon gets moved in a deal for a, a Twins pitcher. We got game use relic, Masahiro Tanaka to 150. Yankees, Levi on the board. Wait, didn't they extend Goldschmidt, though? I guess that's why I'm hesitating on, on the Cardinals moving Goldschmidt. But but 
I think I think that division can be had. Just because they're all they're gonna they're gonna beat up on each other all season long. There's Cody Bellinger to 2019 in a little mini slump. It's a parallel, by the way. The red carpet, different photo variation. For those of you who've been paying attention to this ball game here, the NBA Finals, Game Six. Very close. Raptors up 72-70 with about seven minutes left in the third quarter. Does everyone still, everyone still think the Raptors are going to take it? Nice one for the Twins. 35 out of 76. Look at that. I hear that's a beautiful ball, ballpark. Target field. I want to visit there someday. Braun, Dale. Rolando saying Golden State will take it to Game 7 and win it. Wow. Yeah, that that's the, that's the struggle, right? Grundy is like Nick. You're like, hey, do we move those young players and kind of win for now? I mean, Scherzer might be might be worth it, but maybe not for anybody else. Nice, Logan got paid. Break out the flawless you've been holding on to. You think we'd be holding on to flawless? If we had it, that's getting listed the second it gets delivered through our door, if we had any. So Rolando bet on the series wager. He he's on the Golden State Warriors, saying good bake to make money. He says, "You're not nervous without without Kevin Durant. That would make me nervous. If I had a series play." We got Pablo Reyes, 2019.
It's Travis Jankowski, 2019 to 299, Ponce de Leon. And Rollins says, not at all. Same teams on the court that has been there and won it before. This is true. Is Dominic Leone. Cubs are already up to nothing? It's like the game must have just started. And we've got Legacy of Baseball autograph, Derek Rodriguez. For the Giants, a little oppo Joe mojo for Charles. Charles Phipps with the Gigantes. Out of 150. Wait, I think you're right, Rolando. Rolando's like, isn't that Pudge's kid? I think this is Yvonne Rodriguez's kid. And I was thinking, I was like, where, where have I heard that name before? Kurt Suzuki. And the relic is Steve Carlton. Piece of his lumber for the Phillies. That goes to Mark Matson. Be expecting one more relic out of here, and then we got two more jumbo boxes to go. You see two more stacks on the camera above my head. Those are the last two. We're done. Then it'll take us maybe a few minutes to put all this stuff away and go through some orders and blah 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 blah. And then we'll kind of readjust the uh, the time in the schedule in the chat right now. And then we'll see what else we can get into before the night is over. We do have some time, though. There's Kevin Pillar. Yeah, it's a great photo. They have him. And there's Anthony Rizzo. Speaking of the Cubs, who are here in L.A. And that's to 150 for the Cubbies. That'll be for Tony. I did, Rolando. I did. Let's see how. Let's do a quick update here. I rest my hands a little bit. I was on the Nationals. That wasn't. I don't think that was good. They ended up losing. 
I was on Baltimore. I think they lost too, or are losing. Unless they're coming back. No, they're getting crushed. Mm, on the Mets, they're tied 4-4. I was on Texas. Now they're down by one. They were leading for a little bit. On the Royals, they should cruise. I'm actually on the, I'm actually on the Cubs tonight, so might have a couple wins here. I thought a few of these games would go the other way. They were pretty close. All right, two boxes to go. So there's that big stack right here. There we go, good luck everybody. And we've got Ahmed Rosario, speaking of the Mets. Pinstripe, patch, and autograph. That goes to Evan. Evan Chester with the Metropolitans. Nice. And that is 20 out of 50. There you go. Major League material and autograph. So now we have two more relics to go here in this break. Or in this box. Then we have one more box left. Jung Ho Kang to 2019. Wow, Chris Bryant hit a home run. Three nothing already? Three out of five. Now Kershaw's been all right this year. He's a three eleven ER three ERA going into this game. Five and one. One point oh five whip. Fifty nine strikeouts over sixty six innings. Yeah, so he hasn't been walking anybody. C E R A is a little a little on the higher than side than usual, but still five and one on the season. I guess he he was bound for a down start, I think. And in the in the betting market, they always overvalue pitchers like Scherzer and Degrom and Syndergaard and Kershaw. So that's why oftentimes you'll see me go Oppo the the hot starters because Vegas will add like twenty thirty cents to him to the price. To Maeda. And there's Vlad Guerrero Sr. Expos edition. Going to Kevin and the Nationals. Nice one, Kevin. That is numbered 118 to 150. Nice medallion there. There you go. There's the last jumbo. Right over there. Thanks to Nick for helping us pack stack. That way we can get some more breaks in tonight as well. Almost there, folks. One more relic out of here, and then three more hits in that final stack, and we will be done skis. Ryan McMahon. Yeah, Whip definitely looked at more and more these days. Grundy. I know our fantasy league has had Whip for for years.
Jared Hughes. Oh, and then Brandon Drury, 67. There's Adam Simber, 2019, and Jose Ramirez for the try. Paul Cool Whitlock, 26 out of 150. So that's our third and final hit out of this box. We've got one more box to go, and then we're done, folks. Thanks for hanging with me, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. I know it's a longer break, but the good news is, since we knocked them out two at a time, this is uh, this is, we're we're done with our entire run of series too. I think we may have another case for like mixers and stuff, but for breaks, we are donezos. So thanks, everybody. We did two. Dual case breaks yesterday, and then two yesterday. Oh, right. Thanks, Mark. Silver packs. Forgot about those. And the last one, folks. Oh, nice. Nick's going to pop those silver packs as well. Stack those up. You like the post-it notes? Yeah, I like the post-it notes there. <laughs> WTF. Yeah. I, know, I, haven't, I haven't used them. I was no, just, I, they were on I my... Need, I, it was an emergency. They were on my table, and I was just like, I got to save it for a good day. WTF, why is this break so long? Yeah. No, the good news is, folks, these doubleheader breaks are great because we got... We got a bunch of cases knocked out. Otherwise, it would have dragged. We would have been doing like a case a night for like a week. <laughs> and then people would be like, oh, Series 2 again. Now, this way we just rip the Band-Aid off. Uh-oh. Yeah, Thompson doesn't look... Oh, what if he doesn't shoot the free throws? Who Can he get a substitute? You know who did shoot free throws? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe fans will never let that go. Nope. Remember when Kobe Bryant ruptured his Achilles tendon and then walked to the free throw line, made his two free throws, and then limped off the court under his own power? That's selfish, though. What if he, he could have missed them both? Not Kobe. He could have <laughs> missed them both. You think could have is even in his vocabulary? No. That's why he's so good. <laughs> That's why everyone compares LeBron to Jordan, but I think Kobe just, that, I mean, not that, as good, but that, just like, style. That a-hole that mentality? Yeah. Because yeah. LeBron is Jordan buddies was, with Jordan all these. Jordan was a dick. LeBron is buddies with all these guys. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe was never, like, no, buddies with. he was with, never. He would never do that. He, was, he hated, like, his own teammates, like Smush Parker. Yeah, he hated like, him. you know, Jordan punched Steve Kerr in the face. Yeah. I mean, Jordan still... But you have to be just that good in order yeah. to pull that off. Yeah. Like, you can't be Kevin Durant and do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and Kevin Durant's, like, top five player in the league. Yeah. But you got you have to have a certain... Yeah, you have to have, to have a certain mentality to even have that attitude and be able to pull it off. And Kobe's not doing banana boat gang no, pictures not with Mike LeBron. No, Clay's back. Oh, He's shooting the free throws, Kobe. He, he, yeah, Kobe he heard us. He heard us. I hate when they show the slow mo replay. Tony Gwynn. That is for Travis Stevens and the Padres. The worst ever replay was Kevin Mitchell Louisville on Easter Day. I don't remember that. The bone was popping. Oh, out. I don't want to hear about that. It was in, like just terrible. So he had to shoot the free throw, so he came back out of the locker room. 
So you can't have a substitute I guess throw not. a free throw? I guess not. This guy didn't have to use a restroom. Mark Jackson throwing shots. <laughs> yeah, throwing shots at Paul Pierce. And he's, and Paul Pierce is on ESPN, too, so it's not like cross-network. It's right within the network. That's fine. Um, we should have one more relic and another autograph in this, and then we'll, we'll do the silver packs that Nick stacked up right there. And then we are done with the break. There's the autograph. It's Josh James. Rookie auto for the Astros. Our last auto of the break, unless we have some in the silver packs. Uh, congrats to James with that, uh, uh, that Astro auto. To 150, and there should be one more relic in here. And all silver pack cards do ship. So everything that silver pack stack will ship. Thank you, sir. It's kind of a mess. We're yeah, no, I'll, I'll organize it, yeah. There's Wilmer Font. All right, thanks, Nick, for pack stacking. Yep. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Chris Martin to 2019. And your last relic is going to be Miguel Sano. Game used memorabilia for the Twins. Steve Locke. I feel like the Twins had a really nice break. Still uh, autograph possibilities in those silver packs. We saw one last night in the first pick your team, I think. Carlos Tochi. Sweet Lou Brock. And that, my friends, is is that silver packs, silver packs, silver packs. Sometimes there's autos in the silver packs. Sometimes there are. And we got gold, Josh James, out of 50. Sup, Rex? And yes, Rex, I know the Cubs are up. Have they continued to score? At least I have Shorber on my fantasy team. We've got, speaking of the Cubs, there's Let's Play 2, Arnie Banks. 17 out of 25. And then we've got DJ Stewart to 150. Orioles, that'll be for Mark Matheson. We 
we've got Danny Jansen to 150 for the Blue Jays. And then we've got a green Yusai Kikuchi to 99. Mariners, Josh Proust with that one. Danny Jansen will going to Travis Stevens and the Blue Jays. And for the White Sox, Michael Kopech to 199. Jeff Goldberg with the White Sox. There's another, uh, that's a very young looking Tony Gwynn right there for the Padres. That's out of 150. Mariano Rivera to 199. For the Yankees, that goes to Levi. And an autograph coming up. It's the same silver pack auto we saw yesterday in Pick Your Team 1. Tuki Toussaint, rookie auto for the Bravos. Colton Carver. There you go, Colton. And that is out of 149. And we've got a green Matt Olson, Nick Martini. Matt Olson to 99. Kind of hard to read the uh, the text down there against the reflection. And we've got Roberto Almar for the Bluebirds to 99, and that'll be for Travis Stevens. And we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Got a quick left-right center or left-center-right randomizer to do. So let's do that really quick. So let's go to random.org. Let's get everyone's names. And let's randomize. Now, what am I doing? I'm losing my mind. We'll still use this dice roll, though. Three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it'll go to the center. So all the most of these are the same team, but the for there's a few that are different. So the center card, uh, the center player, we'll get those. And that is it, folks. That was 18 box hobby plus jumbo. Pick your team three of 2019 Tops Series 2 baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.